I am trying a new foundation today. I'm doing a little bit of vlogging. And I like it so far. But, y'all, it's expensive. It's expensive, okay? Um, I like it. But we'll see. I'm actually trying a uh, hair product. And y'all, I'm liking it. I like it. It's a different brand. And, um, I know, I can't. It's a different brand. I'm headed to work. But, um, tomorrow I'm getting my hair done. I'm actually going to get it straightened and trimmed because it's been a while. And I was going to get it cut, get a diva cut. That means get it cut, um, curly while it's curly but I still do want to wear uh, for my sister's wedding I think I'm going to wear my hair straight because I think I'm gonna do my 911 hair tutorial pony um, just because she it's hot down there yeah I'm going to Mississippi so I probably vlog that but that's not until like a month and a half from now so back to the hair thing I am going to um, I'm gonna vlog and I'm going to also do a remake of a reload of like one of my pop most popular videos on my channel which is how to achieve volume on fine thin hair and have some salon tips in there and then I actually actually am going to kind of split that up and with another popular video that I have how to get curl def definition everything for fine thin hair so I'm going to do it for straight and I'm going to do it for curly hair and I hope it'll help a lot of people when it comes to like especially when you do your hair at home sometimes you can't afford to go to a salon I only go two to three times out of the year um, I've never been four times or whatever I usually just go to get my hair trimmed and then she styles it and everything and I do it let her do it straight just because sometimes it's hard to reach in other areas but I've learned how to do it at home so let's head on to work and we will vlog a little bit today. Okay, bye ladies. Okay, so I just got here. Oh, you guys, I'm just not like vlogging because I was trying to hurry up and get here. But I'm going to go get my hair done. It's curly. It's going to be straight when you guys see it. So this is going to be my like curly straight vlog. So look for it. This is my beautiful stylist. Hey. <laughs> Girl, you know I was gonna be vlogging today. Everybody was like, um, they were trying to contact me. We were like, hey, are you gonna vlog? You getting your hair done? Oh, I love your shoes. That's funny, thank you. Shoe can. <laughs> I love it. Isn't she cute? Look at her hair. It was blonde before, I love it. Okay. <laughs> my, look, my husband was like, um, are you gonna get something done in your hair? What are you gonna do different? Blue oil is like the best. Um, it's Paul Mitchell, but it, it, it's like a rare oil cleanser. It's really moisturizing to the hair. I've heard of the Marula oil, but yeah. I'm I use Marula oil for my face. You do? Yes. Oh, like I guess argon oil you can use for your, your hair like and your Ar face yeah, or whatever. Because it's lighter. Mm -hmm. I'm not with the whole. I can't do the whole heavy stuff. Okay, so Mar I Marula. mean, for some hair, is you can, but every hair type, no, you can't do heavy oils you know right, what I mean right especially because you're gonna blow dry today too mm -hmm. so we want to lather that's gonna kind of get rid of you know the oils that you previously have in your hair as well okay um, because you know how I feel about cold washing <laughs> so can you like share some tips of like uh, what are you doing now with so hair right hair? now um, I'm just you know cleansing her hair with the marula oil by Paul Mitchell and the reason why marula oil is my favorite is because it's very moisturizing on the hair, but won't leave buildup on the hair, which is mm -hmm. what we want, especially because we're blow drying you out today, right? Right. 
So I just want to get rid of, you know, most of the oil so that she has that flawless blow dry. But I'm just giving her a good cleanse. She conditioned, you say you conditioned last mm -hmm. night. And then I did, uh, about two or three days ago, mm -hmm. I did the Curl Junkie Repair Me, which is that strengthening, like, ker keratin. Oh, like whenever I blow, uh-huh, uh-huh. Whenever I blow dry my hair, mm -hmm. and then I followed with a, uh, I followed with the conditioner after oh, that, okay. a deep conditioner after that. Mm -hmm. But you know how I am. I always, like, I feel like that's one of the ways that I protect my curls. Right. Is, like, doing that even before I get here because, you know, protein treatment, then a conditioning is just, like, I think me doing it at home has just saved me so much time and it's allowed you to really, you know, do the blow dry well and all that kind of stuff. I feel like those necessary steps, you know, you help me with that. Right. As far as like, um, and that's why I feel like I go, I come less. Mm -hmm. I rather spend, cause you know, sometimes on my channel, a lot of people are like, oh, those products are expensive. But I'm like, I do salon work at home. Right. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. I. I'm not one of those that go to the, if I'm not going to go to the salon, I used to go every two weeks and see that's the hairstylist maintaining my hair. Right. But it if I'm doing it at home, uh -huh. I'm maintaining it. You, you're, right. you're doing the, basically the, how can I say the, you are, you're doing the maintenance. I'm doing the upkeep. Right. And so I'm willing to pay more money because just think, okay, so I'm coming to you, what? Do I come to you, baby, what, three, maybe at the max four, four times out of the year? Yeah. At, in re you know, in reference to like two times out of the, two times out of the month that I was going. Right. I'm saving a whole lot of money. Right. So I should be able to really invest in the hair products that I use. I mean, that's my goal for my clients anyway. You know, you come in, you get your shave. And you handle it at home yourself. If right. You can. You know what I mean? Right. But what you were saying about products, of course, a lot, a lot of times, again, people use too much products. Mm -hmm. It's not that it costs a lot, but people are so used to using so much amounts of products. And I think when it's less cheaper, like if you're doing Eco Styler and all that stuff, mm -hmm. it's cheap. So you're going to use two pounds of Eco Styler to put in your hair. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. it just depends on, you know, what you're using. So what is what your hair feels like? So I put a little bit of conditioner, um, the Marula oil conditioner. Well, I need to see how that works. So, we oil conditioner, and then I just put a, a, I did a little bit of hair mask. Now, with the hair mask is great because you can also put it underneath the dryer if you wanted to. Okay. But sometimes I like to just put it on the ends. Okay. Just for a little extra moisture. Okay. And then rinse it out too. Shiny. Your hair feels good though. It does. Thank you. So what are some, what do you think are some good like detox or clarifying? I always like to like um, quiz. It's always Jeopardy when I come and see Kiata and ask her about, because I will go buy the things that she, she suggests because those are the results that I want. Because that Paul Mitchell Marula smells good. What, mm -hmm. Can I get that? Do I have to buy it you here? Probably, you or? can order it online. I think they might sell it at Ulta. Okay. Beauty Supply. I know okay. they have it at like Planet Beauty. and you know oh, They have I mean? it at Planet Beauty? They I have, have one right at, across yeah. the street. They from should me. have it at Planet Beauty. Okay. Um, I mean, it really depends on what you're trying to get out of your hair. Like as far as like, are you trying to get, because I always feel like it, just a lather shampoo will get rid of excess stuff on your hair you mm -hmm. know what i mean mm -hmm. and that's the oh and the shampoo uh -huh. and it's also good for like you know trying to get rid of all the stuff because sometimes you know a lot of detox like sunday shampoo is great but sometimes it makes your hair dry so you got to be careful so what you is it mo a moisturizing shampoo no like for me not as moisturizing but it's good if you want to like detox okay you know what i mean yeah 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 <laughs> we'll have to go we'll have to go through kiana's uh Okay. Our cabinet before we leave. One day I am going to get the gall to try and try a uh, try some color. One day. I don't know, like one day you'll do it. One day. So I'm using this detergent on the What do you feel about silicones? Because you know a lot of um, naturals. Like, okay, so first of all, did the, the I take it that the Paul Mitchell and the Paul Mitchell uh, Marula oil has 
silicone. I'm sure. Yeah. I think it's just different for everybody's hair. Mm -hmm. take, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I feel like it's just like anything else. Like some people's body can take red meat and some people's body can't take red meat. Mm -hmm. It's kind of one of those things. And if you feel like it works for you, then you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Well, you use using some expensive stuff on me. She's using Oribe. <laughs> I'm gonna do some Roy Blah Orbe on her ends okay. for her blow dry, and then I'm gonna just follow up with a, a little heat sliding thing so we have to protect her hair. Okay. I was like, <laughs> this smells like a cologne or something. Oh my goodness. Okay. It's creamy, but it has oil components inside. Mm -hmm. I get the spa hunty when I come. Hair spa. <laughs> That's actually what she should have named this place. Hair spa. <laughs> Keys hair spa. Mm -hmm. What's the importance of having a good blow dryer at home? Do you like, is that something that you think people should invest in? Like a really good blow dryer? I mean, you know, you should okay. at least be spending 80 bucks or more for a blow dryer. Okay. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Some people like heat, some people, but I find clients, I don't like them to get super high heated blow dryers. Okay. Because they tend to dry the hair out. Dry the so. hair out, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, but you know, you want something with a little bit of power and some, you know, nice heat. You, you want fast and you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Do you but, know like the wattage or whatever they should get? I know sometimes it'll say like, like 14, ISO. 75 okay. or something. Okay. I'm, I'm a type of person who I probably go through like maybe two blow dryers a year. Okay. So for me, lightness is real key for me because right. I've been doing hair way too long and mm -hmm. I can't deal with all the heaviness. And when you straighten your curly hair too, you always want to make sure if you feel like it gets dry, you can always just spray some water in the front. Now I need this uh, hair mist. <laughs> Where did you get that from? You can get this at um, Namie's. Namie's. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. You get that Namie's. They have it in white and black and they also have a smaller one. Okay. So you miss it and it keeps going. You know what? <laughs> My Febreze does that. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna have to get that. To attack the hairline first. This smells so good.
Okay, so this is Kiana's hairline. Mm -hmm. I'm actually gonna review yes. some of this because... Yeah. Styling product. Yes. Are there any tips of like uh, how to like produce? I mean, not produce, but lock in shining your hair besides oil. I've heard people um, say cold using like cold, um, I mean, cold you know, water. Oh, that's like locking yeah. in. Locking in. That's like if you straighten it and blow dry it, that gives it a lot of shine. Mm -hmm. Or also, if you're wearing it curly after you cleanse your hair, you do a cold rinse after the conditioner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can do that. But um, you know, some people kind of wear bonnet like silk bonnets on the mm -hmm. hair I feel like sometimes that keeps it a little bit shiny mm -hmm. I use a, a silk bit. pillowcase yeah, silk I can't or I can't do the bonnet no, no more. it slips off like, yeah uh, I can't do it either but, um, but yeah okay so let's go back to co-washing why do you think why do you not like co-washing well here's my thing with co-washing because I've heard a couple of hairstylists say this. my thing with co-washing I mean if you come to me and get your hair done and you co-wash I'm sorry I'm shampooing your hair mm -hmm. like it's just what it is if mm -hmm. you, <laughs> you know what I mean because mm -hmm. what happens with co-washing it has a lot it, it just builds up on the hair after a while mm -hmm. and a lot of times it takes away the luster the shine it takes away the curl movement of the hair mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. you're like why is my hair not curling no more mm -hmm. it's because it's been co-washed too much you mm -hmm, know what i mean mm -hmm. so i'm not saying don't co-wash but you have to at least shampoo the hair i mean don't do it no more than two weeks you know what i mean mm -hmm. like after two weeks you should be able to either use a lather shampoo that lather or you don't even have to use a clarifying shampoo you could just use like a nice moisturizing shampoo that lather because you need to get whatever's on it off because what happens with co-washing is like a conditioner, so it sits on the hair. Uh huh. And you know it coats I mean? it, and, and it, it keeps it, it restricts it from exactly. movement. Exactly. Do you have any suggestions? I mean, the on... Marula oil conditioner is really mm -hmm, good. Mm -hmm. I love the Diva Curl One conditioner. Now, do you you have that in your hair right now? The Marula oil. The Marula oil. So mm -hmm. I can wear that with not only with my hair being uh, straight but yep, curly too. Curly as well. Exactly. And this is my hair. Uh, I'm gonna put a little finisher on your hair. I just want you okay. to tilt your head back. 